Okay, so one of the things that I've been using is this Listerine, the gold kind, on a lot of my insects, and that's what I'm spraying this one particular slug with now. And really just wanted to show you its reaction to the actual Listerine chemical here. And as you can see, it's producing a lot of slime, trying to get rid of that actual Listerine. So I'm trying to see exactly how this is going to react to slugs and if in fact it will also relieve your garden from slugs as well. Now the Listerine does work well on your orchids and with um, common insects and also mites and other things that might harm your plant. It also has a good anti-fungus in there as well. So definitely that's what I use in my garden in the regards to, you know, not using harmful chemicals that would also injure my lizards as well because my lizards actually do a lot for my garden and I have great relations with them so I definitely don't want to harm them. Okay, and here folks, I know this is a little bit gross, but we are taking a close look at the slime that it did secrete in attempt to remove that layer of Listerine that I did spray on it. And it did a half effort, it got rid of some of it, but I resprayed it again. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of movement from the slug at all. It is definitely appearing as though it is trying to flip itself upside down, so I'm not sure what that is all about but it does appear to have weakened it because usually when a slug is threatened or what have you, you will see it squirming away. It might be fairly slow, but it will still attempt to squirm away. And this at this point is not squirming away at all. It is remaining at idle and again appears to be trying to turn itself upside down. So definitely will continue to monitor exactly what's going on with this critter. Okay folks, so I've been monitoring this yucky, mucky critter right here for a good 10 minutes now and I'm absolutely not seeing any type of movement in this slug here. So at this time I am thinking that either it is quickly fading away or it is dead. I'm not quite certain yet and I'm going to continue to monitor it, but this indeed is good news for all the gardeners out there and plant and orchid collectors because as you guys know, these slugs like to climb on your plants and also your orchids and have a, what I consider a slug feast. So you definitely have to keep these critters at bay and find a way to remove them from your plants. And again, I've used Listerine, just the gold kind, on this particular critter and also some insects and, you know, other fungus and nasty things that grow on my plants. And it's a way that I'm not spraying all sorts of harmful chemicals into my garden, threatening the lives of, you know, my lizards and other things that protect my plants. So. Definitely. Listerine, the gold kind though. Make sure it's not the colored green or blue kind because in that ingredient there's something that orchids do not like so it can definitely be harmful to your orchids. So keep that in mind. And I'll do one last update just to ensure that this critter is in fact in slug heaven. Um, so stay tuned for more. Okay folks, so it's been about 20 minutes since the last time I did an update and the slug has actually definitely stopped moving. It is not doing anything at all and I can even basically kind of poke it for you and let you see that it is definitely no longer with us. So yeah, it worked. The only thing that I will say that I did not like that it did take quite a long time. I would say about 30, 40 minutes. There are other methods of, you know, getting rid of slugs. I've heard of the beer method where you pour it into a lid and the beer actually attracts slugs and then they drown in that beer and of course they suffocate. So that's another form 
I just wanted to give you guys another method. Again, this is the Listerine Gold Kind method that you get in your local grocery store or your local pharmacy. And here you have seen it definitely does work on slugs. Very effective. And that's it folks. Just wanted to give you another option in case you are dealing with some infestations in your garden. Again, this works on mites and other insects and fungus infections, things of that nature. It definitely will keep those things at bay. Although I will say it might be a weekly process where you're spraying your plants down. But if you want more of a type of chemical that is not toxic to other friendly creatures in your garden, this is definitely the way to go. Okay, that's it folks, and I thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. This has been Maria Young, reporting live from my garden paradise. Bye-bye. I have grubs throughout my garden, and this lizard has actually caught a grub that is in my garden. It's in its mouth. And, uh... Yeah, as you can see, these lizards are just such a great benefit to me in my garden because those grubs can really, really be harmful in eating the roots of your plants.